Hello and welcome to Simply Awesome Photoshop Elements Tutorials. My name is Chucky and today we're going to make this 3D extruded text with shadow on grass. And as you can see on the grass, I have the little blades that are coming up through the grass and you can see just a little bit of the grass as if this was a real shadow. So let's get started. What I'd like to do is I'd like to start with the grass. So I'm going to open that. I have this picture of grass that I have on my desktop right here and I have that photo of grass. The next thing that we need to do is we need to save this out as a Photoshop document in black and white. So I'm going to go to my enhance menu. I'm going to convert this to black and white and what we need is we need one that is going to show the contrast between the light and the dark parts. So I have selected scenic landscape here. You can take the intensity sliders right here and if you want to bring a little bit more brightness in there you can slide the green slider over to the right. Whichever one has the best contrast for your grass that's the one that we want. I'm going to select OK then I'm going to save this out as a PSD file and I'll show you the reason in a little bit. We're going to use a displacement map and we need a black and white. So let's go to save as. On the bottom instead of a JPEG we want to save this out as a Photoshop document. Click save and we're done. Now we need to get this back to our green grass so we're going to use the shortcut command Z or control Z if you're on a PC. Now we have it back in color. The next thing we need to do is we need to select a nice bold text. I'm going to select the text tool and then we're going to select some sort of nice bold color. I selected red in the last one but it doesn't have to be. You could select one that might be a blue or you can use the swatches. If you go to window and you select color swatches you can use these color swatches right here to pick a different color. So this time around I think maybe I will pick an orange type color right over here and then I will tick the X right here to get rid of that. Click the drop down box and select a nice thick text right here and then select an appropriate size. Now I don't know what size grass that you have there. Mine is 140 points and I've selected the center as my justification. Next I'm going to click on the center of my photo towards the top so that we have a little bit of room for our shadow. I'm going to click that and I'm just going to type in text. Now that's not big enough but that's okay we can adjust the size. We can tick the green checkbox right there if we're happy with what we have. Now if you use a command T or a control T that will give you the transformation handles right here and we can make this a little bit larger. So I'm going to drag the bottom and the top there and then make this just a tiny bit larger. I think that's about what we need. And then hit enter or hit the green checkbox right here and we're done with our text. Now what we need to do is we need to simplify this because we're not going to be able to transform it to a 3D looking text without it. So in our layers palette we're going to right click and simplify our text. But if you don't see the layers go to the bottom right here and this is where your layers palette will appear if you click this button down here. Now go to our text layer right here. We're going to right click on our text layer. We're going to select simplify. Now, I want to warn you that you need to have whatever text you have in there because now we can't go back and edit this. Then we're going to hit Command or Control T again. That's going to give us the handles. But this time, if we hold the Command or Control key down, we can skew this as if it was coming a little bit more towards us. As you can see, I might even turn this so it is not quite perfect, but we're going to pull this as if it is coming towards us in three dimensions right here. And there we go. When I'm happy with that, I can hit the green checkbox again, and that will take our transformation handles and make them go away. Now I do have another tutorial and I will leave the link in the description down there if you just want to make some 3D text. But this one is 3D text with a shadow. 
So now what we need to do is we need to give this that extruded look. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect to this. The effect is at the bottom next to the layers button. Click on that. Then we're going to select the simple emboss. Now I need to find that. That's the third one over on the top if you're using Photoshop Elements 13. Might be in a different place if you're using a different version of this, but they all have a simple emboss. So click on this simple emboss and you'll see it emboss this. We're going to go back to our layers palette by clicking on the layers button. And then if we double click the FX in our layers, we can adjust some of this. Now, I don't necessarily like this five pixels that we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that down to about one pixel. And then select OK. You can also highlight it and type the number in and then select OK. Now what we need to do is we need to copy each one of those layers and make it look like it's 3D. Now this is a little laborious, so what I will tell you the control or the command shortcuts for doing that. We're going to use on a Mac command option and then the up and down arrows, or if you're on a PC, you're going to use control alt and then the up and down arrows. Now some people have said that this doesn't necessarily work on a laptop because the laptop keyboard, believe it or not, and the external keyboard have some minor differences to it. So if you're having a little bit of trouble, just leave me a message and I'll try to find some sort of an answer for you. So let's try this. Command, Option, and then we're going to use the Down key right here. Now we're going to keep doing that until we have a nice 3D extruded text right here. And it's starting to look like the text is coming towards us and then the sun is coming from the background. Okay, and now I have some nice text there. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make a duplicate of this layer, but we want it to be in black. And we're going to flip that down and turn that into a shadow. So hit the Command J or the Control J if you're on a Mac and we're going to get a duplicate of this layer. Now hold down the Command or Control key and click on your text, the layer thumbnail that you have right here. As you can see the ants have appeared right there. We're going to change our foreground and background tools by hitting the D on the keyboard. Not Control or Command, but just the D on the keyboard. And as you can see, that returned us to our black and white. Now, hold down the Alt or Option key, and then hit the Delete, or Backspace if you're on a PC. Now that is now our shadow. Hit Command D or Control D to get rid of the ants. Now what we can do is we can turn this layer off for a second right there. And now we have our extruded text. Click on the second layer right here, scroll down to the bottom, hold the shift key down, and click the very last text. That will highlight all of these. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to merge all these layers because it's a little bit unwieldy. So now we have our 3D text. Now we need to make our shadow. Turn the visibility layer back on for this text right here. The next thing we need to do is right click on our shadow layer and clear the layer style. Now we need to flip it upside down so that it looks like it's a shadow. Go to the image menu, rotate, then go to flip layer vertical. Then we need to use the move tool which is V on your keyboard and drag this down straight down so that it looks like text. Move it up a little bit maybe to get rid of any kind of grass that's in between those two layers. Now this doesn't look quite real yet so we're going to use a filter so go to the filter menu we're going to go to distort and we're going to use a displacement map. Use about 10 and 10 and select OK. Now this is where our copy of the grass comes in. We named that grass, or maybe you didn't, but this is the grass.psd right here. We're going to select open. And what that's going to do is that's going to give it a little bit of depth right here as if the shadow is going on the grass. Now what we need to do is we need to change the opacity so you can see just a little bit through that as if it is an actual shadow. 
Now we need to get rid of these little stray pieces of grass right here because it doesn't look realistic. So we're going to hold down our command or our control and then click on the text, the orange text right here. Once we see the marching ants right here, we need to use the command shift I or the control shift I if you're on a PC. And we need to select the inverse, everything else. We don't want the actual text right here, but we want everything else. Making sure that you're still on the shadow layer right here, click on the layer mask right there. And as you can see, all the little strays have disappeared right there. And it looks like the shadow is going up and down the grass as if it is being affected by each individual grass blade. I hope you enjoyed that. The last piece is going to file and save as a JPEG or a PNG file. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos on this YouTube channel. You can also visit me on my website at simplyawesomephotography.com or you can visit my Facebook page at facebook.com slash simplyawesomephotography. Thanks for tuning in and cheers.